I mean, I cannot even believe the quality of these shadows. It's amazing. The colors really remind me this and this one on the Too Faced chocolate bar. And these are my favorite colors. And look, the, the top one for the brow bone. Ah, that one is like the milk chocolate. They're really freaking similar. And for the eyelid, this color here is like my favorite marzipan so i'm like able to almost create the same look i love to create with the chocolate bar with this little sweet gem i mean can you even believe how pigmented these colors are and there is in the Too faced not a bronze color like that i i mean there is a similar one but i usually like the matte but I really like that and I have them all on. You could barely see a difference if I use the Too Faced or this one. And what was it? Like $3 or something? It's amazing, amazing quality. If you cannot afford uh, that expensive high-end palette, you should go and check these awesome Wet n Wild shadows out. I mean, this is my daily go palette palette if you want to call it like that really awesome stuff you guys and i'm really loving the tart lip crayon in elite and i just did this get ready with me where i wear the two and i'm using it there's not much in because this is only like a giant um, sample so I probably have to soon repurchase that the color is just awesome and I have it on right now like gives me this hint of coral and really really enjoying the peppermint scent to it and it's just refreshing and feels summery because I know you guys have maybe fall already coming but not here in Florida still 100 degrees so it's been crazy here and the next one is the Envy Derm Eyeliner, which I'm really loving. I haven't used liquid eyeliners in many years, but this is really has an awesome, very, very fine tip and makes it really easy to apply a very fine line and um, also has, you know, these ingredients which are supposed to make your lashes grow. I'm using this since three weeks. I cannot say I see a difference but the ingredients sound promising. It's just a really awesome formula between the right consistency of, you know, wet and it gives me this black uh, wet line, shiny line, not matte. So I've been really liking this, loving, not liking. And also I'm really enjoying the Hourglass Ambient Palette. I mean, that is an expensive purchase and people ask me why, what do I need, why do I need that and I was for so long in ah, regret, should I buy it, should I not buy it, I couldn't decide but then I just went for it and I'm really loving this color here, which is it? This is the Radiant Light for setting powder on my T-zone. And this one is the dim light. It's really nice on the cheekbones and I'm having it on right now. It gives like this glow. So do you need this? You don't need this. But once you have it, it's hard to not use it. It's similar to do you need an iPhone or a smartphone? You don't need it. But once you have it, you certainly won't want to live without it. And I feel with this also like that. Of course, I could set my powder with something cheaper, but it's just, I cannot explain it. It gets like smooth and even with your skin and it doesn't crease into the fine lines. And it's just so, it gives you like glowing skin. So, I mean, if you are afraid of the high cost better don't get it because if you get it you will never stop using it <laughs> and 
and I'm really really loving the 10 color palette blush from BH Cosmetics and this was an awesome awesome way to try out lots of different blush colors and there is really nice colors I'm using this orange color today here I have it on and I mean look at there is like pinks there is orange corals and even bronzy colors and the whole thing what was it between 10 or 12 dollars something like that I mean come on what a deal awesome quality really pigmented no fallout awesome job BH cosmetics that's that is a stunning stunning blush palette I can highly recommend and then also the Deborah Lipman in girls just want to have fun the color which I was unsecure first about but now I'm really loving it it's really a sexy color and really summery so yeah because it's so hot here and really loving that and also another shout out to Shea Moisture I know I've had them just in my July favorites already but this is a different product now this is the scrub coconut and hibiscus I just have to say the whole line is beautiful you need to try this if you love these from the body shop those scrubs you will love these and these cost like half of the body shop smell even better the ingredients are top high end just natural there is no crap inside it's just beautiful the scrub is like um, yeah, it smells like like pineapple, like Hawaii, like like coconut, you know, all that, like pina colada, and it's moisturizing. Go and check out Shia Moisture. I can highly recommend it, and they have it most of the times in the in the ethnic area because they have so much hair stuff for curly hair. But I think that's the reason why most of us probably never even look for it. But go in the ethnic area everywhere, every drugstore carries it. And I think Ulta starts now also to carry it. Awesome stuff. Recommend highly. These were all my favorites. I hope you enjoyed. See you later. Bye.